Irish writers in Italy for sure. Italians really love Catherine Dan. And I think we know those who have the you know the joy of actually you know knowing her as a person realize that yes, you should be happy to know her. She's written wonderful books, so some and I think the most recent of which has been published in Italy and not published in When I was coming here in the car, in my car. Uh, I was thinking, what can I say for Concerto Alonso? And I can say something in particular, being the half of his origin. I am half Sicilian, is full fledged <laughs> Sicilian, and I, I had something that crossed my mind. Concerto spent practically all his professional life, and not only professional life, in, in Ireland. And Concerto is uh, originally, as my grandparents, the Sicilian grandparents, a Norman. A Norman that came to Ireland. And in a way, I have been after contributing for years to Italian Italian newspaper uh, Italian newspaper in England I decided to create a publication for the Italian community in Ireland. Italian community in Ireland in those days was uh, consisted of 3,000 individuals of whom 1,000 second and third generation. Conversation. But one thing I wanted to ask you uh, to, to start us off is about something you published in 2009 called A Stain on the Sun. Yeah. And somebody described it as a kind of existential thriller in which space and time are warped through a continuous switch from the comprehensible to the incomprehensible against a science fiction-like background. And that made me wonder whether what you describe in your novel mirrored in some way your transition as a very young person from what was the comprehensible life that you'd had in Sicily to what must have been an incomprehensible life, arriving in Dublin in the mid-1960s. What on earth was it like? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, I'll tell you my idea. I went here in 64, mm -hmm. the first time, as a student, as a trainee, uh, to an international organization which gave uh, stages to economic students only. I mean, it was the, the only important organization at that time. Because now university students have a, an array of, of choices, you know, with Erasmus. Mm -hmm. And in those days, either you went and picked up uh, tulips in, in Holland, okay. or that particular one, which was specific for economic students, and here. So I applied, and then I get very soon to my, to my perception of Dublin, etc. Ireland. I arrived here, and um, well, there's been a, a, a very natural change, a natural progression of the 90s. 
So the imagination is a kind of refuge for you, is it? Well, yeah, yes, it's a refuge for us, you know. <laughs> I don't see retirement anywhere. <laughs> no, 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 no,